All right, right of you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this week on Carolina All Out. They're fast, they're acrobatic, and they are a North Carolina tradition. <laughs> Get it, Ralph! Gray Rockets in the mountains. This, this is Carolina, Carolina All Out. <laughs> This week, the All Out crew is back in Allegheny County with wildlife officer Nathan Cox on his family farm. It's opening day of dove season, and Nathan has focused his attention on a harvested field of sweet corn that the birds have been using since it was picked. The mountains of North Carolina are not traditionally known as a dove hunting area like the coastal plain, but farming practices in the area have changed that now, and the limits are not a problem to obtain. So we are here in Allegheny County. You see, we've got uh, we've got Nathan Cox up here on top of the hill there, and we are in the mountains. Not your traditional place to dove hunt, more or less. You guys know we've been up here for turkeys and for deer hunting, and we've got uh, beautiful corn. We've got pumpkins in the background. We've got a lot of roosting trees behind us. We've got water. We've got power lines, obviously and uh, we've got food, so we've got everything that a dove needs. So we're just gonna uh, kick back here, get lined up and figure out which way they're gonna fly and uh, try to shoot our limit of 15 birds this year. So we'll see what we come up with and uh, hopefully we'll get a, a good shoot today. We're gonna try. All right, right over here. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> There's a little bit of a shootout going on here. We're gonna slip up here and try to get this bird. If we can find him here. A little hard to see him up here in the grass, depending on how to fall. There we go right here. And there is your morning duck. Not a very big creature, but good eating. We'll take him. Hopefully we'll get some more coming up here. We got 14 more to go. <laughs> You know, a lot of people think about this being the mountains and you know the cooler weather and they think that was just a bunch of rolling hills and a lot of jagged places but you know really here in Allegheny County the farming practices are starting to change um, pumpkins are the number one crop here in Allegheny County they bring in millions of dollars each year so the different types of crops that they're planting the doves have more to eat um, this is actually starting to become more of a popular place for dove hunting for the fact that it's cooler breezes you got your beautiful mountain scenery here and there's to be more corn fields and pumpkin fields here so you're starting to see a abundance of doves here in Allegheny County. We'll be back with more wing I shooting action right. right after these messages. Carolina All Out is brought to you by 
the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. XGO, those who know, wear XGO. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Browning, the best there is. New Sports Shop, we've got the gear. And by Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. You know, as much as I like to hunt and fish, sometimes a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And today, I got to mow grass. And as you can see, these mower blades have seen better days. So I'm here at Agri Supply, and I'm going to head back to the back to the lawn and garden and see if they can help me find a replacement for these. Come on. If you've never been to Agri Supply Store, let me tell you what, you've got to come and check this place out. Herbicides, insecticides, you roll into paint, you got trailer hitches log chains, got everything you need, all the way down to cookware. It's an awesome place to go, and it's kind of one of those things where if they ain't got it, you don't need it. Sporting goods, Carolina Cooker cookware, they even got flounder gigs. I'm telling you, they got it all. Can I help you? Well, you look like just a man that might be able to help me. You can see I need some new lawnmower blades. All right, I wrote this down so I'd make sure I get everything, because I know it's got to be a particular type here. Okay, I've got a Hikiyama 2100 series, 13 and a half horsepower with a 56 and 13 16 inch deck and limited oscillator. All right, now is that a long bar mini torque or a short bar max torque? Let's go with the long bar. All right. All right. Hey, hey. now that is impressive. I'll tell you, if you've got chores to do before you go out to the woods and waters, you need to check out Agri Supply. They've got everything from lawnmower blades to cookware. Check them out today. There you go, Nate. Run. Good job. Yeah, and this is what we call a morning dove. Kind of a juvenile. They're fast. They're acrobatic, and they are a North Carolina tradition. And doing it up here in the mountains, <laughs> it's, it's different, it's beautiful. I, I, you know, we talk about different things and the beauty of nature and what's going on out here, but this farmland is something, it's just a patchwork of uh, so many different things. So we're gonna get tucked back in here and we might get some more shots coming up. Looks like some more birds coming. We'll squat down right here. Come on, try. <laughs> oh, that was bad. He was a good, good lead on him. Yeah. Yeah. Watch that, watch that. So you don't mess with him now. But well, Ralph will put him down. On this trip, Chris is joined by his father, Ralph Douglas, who is a minister and longtime North Carolina sportsman himself, and has encouraged Chris through the years to pursue his passions. Like so many other Carolina farm boys, Ralph grew up working in the tobacco fields in the spring and summer, and hunting and fishing in the fall and winter. It was a family tradition, and everyone from brothers to uncles and cousins were involved. Quail hunting was in its prime back then, but deer hunting, when there was a legal season, was always a high point of the year for the family. In the early 80s, Ralph took a great buck in Chatham County and from then started exclusively hunting mature bucks. Through the 80s, Ralph took some great deer and the pinnacle of his pursuits came during the muzzleloader season in 1990 when he harvested a 165-inch 12-point that held the state record for some time. 
Pursuing the ministry has slowed his hunting down, but from time to time, he enjoys getting out and hunting with Chris and is showing that he still has what it takes to knock a few doves down. Be right there to you, boys. <laughs> Get him, Ralph! Hey, Gage, right there, they're coming in. Our big group. Boy gave up. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I got room. Rule number one in this business is don't take your eyes off of where the bird landed. Now we're over top of some pasture. There's some more open ground down there, but the birds are falling for us right here. And so the only reason I saw this bird is because he flopped a little bit when I got up close to him. So that is one thing you can tell right here. See how he fell down in there? I mean, he is literally just in there. So there he is. You found it. Made that shot. Dad's got one out here. Again, he broke rule, but it's hard to it's hard not to do. Whenever you knock one down, usually two or three are coming right behind it, so you want to shoot those birds. So this is what you end up with. You don't want to lose your birds. You don't want to shoot and, and not be able to retrieve. So we're going to stay out here a little while and try to help Dad, and hopefully we don't flare too many birds. Don't go away. More dove hunting action coming up right after these messages. Hi, I'm John, and I'm here at the new sports shop in the gun department. And today we're going to discuss some shotguns that we have here in stock. We have both a semi-automatic, a pump shotguns, and also the over and under shotguns. First, we have the Browning Semi-Automatic. It's the Browning A5 in the Wicked Wing, uh, Cerakoted Bronze, and it has the Bottomland Camo. It's a semi-automatic, and so you can shoot three shells in quick succession, and it's quick to reload as well. Next, we have a Benelli Pump. This is the Benelli Nova. The great thing about a pump shotgun, it's a great starter gun for youth or a teenager. Uh, another great thing about it is the price point. It's a, a lot cheaper than some of your semi-automatic shotguns. And next we have over and under shotgun. The great thing about this shotgun is the ability to change out the chokes. One choke in the top or one choke in the bottom for different uh, shooting patterns. Very popular with skeet shooting and also in hunting as well. So come see us at the new sports shop. We have a large variety of shotguns, rifles, and pistols. We also have an indoor gun range at our Kinston location. So come visit us. We'd be happy to help you with any of your questions here at our Kinston store or our Cedar Point location. Well, as you can see, we are standing in a field. Got the old Wave 5 with us. And uh, Dad's got a newer version there, or an older version, I should say. It's yeah. my, dad, my dad, Ralph, and he's yeah. got an old A5 that we've had in the family for, I don't know how long that thing's been in the family. 40 years or more. 40 years, so so keeping the Browning tradition alive just because we like them really good, but great guns. And so we're here in Allegheny County, and we are enjoying ourselves um, with the first volley of birds that have come through, it's really hot and everybody knows when it's hot, the birds don't fly that well. So we're anticipating everything to kind of stay low till about 5, 5.30. Yeah, come on, put this 
power line right here. Oh, God, he's high, but I'm going to try. I'm a bit of a hybrid. I've got the new XGO base layer going on, which is keeping me cool, but also protecting me from the sun. And then I'm also going old school with this old vest that my grandfather had. Mixing a little bit of old with the new. Got my dad over there. He's shooting old brownie. It's been in our family for a long, long time. And uh, I'm shooting a new Browning A5, the new A5 just a fine firearm that we have been able to take a number of animals with over the years. It shoots turkeys, it shoots swans, it shoots doves. We're gonna put it to test on deer this year. And that's part of it too. This is the rite of passage. This is the first basic day of hunting for the fall and couldn't think of a better place to be than on a dove field somewhere in Allegheny County of all places and not down east. We're doing it in the west this time, so it's really cool. More Carolina all-out wing shooting coming up after these messages. Good. I know you were on. Carolina all-out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt. Go fish. Go wild. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. XGO, those who know, we're XGO. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Agri-Supply, since 1962. And by Browning Trail Cameras, faster, smaller, better. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. We're here with Josh Jernigan, the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Shooting Sports Coordinator. And Josh, where are we exactly? So yes, we are actually located at the John F. Lentz Hunter Education Complex slash shooting range in LRB, North Carolina. Currently, we actually have two shotgun fields, which is a combination of skeet and trap. Uh, both fields are both wireless and voice activated, so if you come out by yourself, we give you a mic, you can go out there and shoot by yourself. You don't have to always bring a partner with you. Uh, we currently have a five stand as well uh, with eight shooting positions on it. It's wireless as well. It goes on a three second delay switch. If you come out by yourself, you can yet again shoot by yourself. Uh, we also have a standalone archery range. Um, so you come out, practice your archery shots. In a combination of that, we also have a 30 archery tower so you can get a little bit of elevation to practice those realistic hunting shots also. We also have a 15 yard pistol range and a 100 yard rifle range here as well. So a person coming to the facility, does he have to call ahead of time? Uh, we always highly recommend give us a call ahead of time uh, just in case there's a short closing for maintenance or an event does pop up. Uh, we always post this information on ncwildlife.org underneath our shooting range uh, page as well. How large is the facility and how many people will it hold at any given time? The property itself is about 300 acres uh, total. The range settles on about 50 to 100 acres, depending where you want to measure from. The facility itself will hold about 4,000 people at its capacity. So if you want to find out more about this facility and others across our great state, go to ncwildlife.org and you can learn more about it. Ralph, coming in. Hey, 
There you go, Josh. I think I saw that. Nathan, that was a pretty good shot for anywhere in North Carolina, oh, not just not Allegheny County. Yeah, huh? it's not bad, not bad. You know, hopefully people can see that. You know, we do have doves here in Allegheny County, Chris. There yes. are, there is dove hunting here in the mountains. So no matter where you go, they are shooting some doves. I appreciate you inviting us. Looks like we're getting ready to have a little meal with the family here. We sure are, friends. Chris. Yep, and that's the best part about dove hunting is, it is. you know, Labor Day weekend is kicking off the hunting season. You know, you're with your friends and family. And I can't think of a better way to end our dove hunt here. Everybody shoot birds, everybody safe. So here we are getting ready to enjoy you know a good meal i do appreciate it thank you so much yes, sir, Nathan. i'm gonna have me a hot dog or two and i believe i will too <laughs> well let's go have something to eat all Sounds right great. let's do it hey <laughs> no no show us the bird <laughs> he can't hear like i can and he's got earplugs in <laughs> <laughs> Why the heck not? <laughs> oh, come on, what is going on with me? Oh, I'm gonna swim through him. Oh, I tried it. Dad, goodness. See him right there. Oh, shoot, oh. I shot the wrong barrel first. <laughs> hey, bap <Papa>. off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little kid. <laughs> Man, he's butt naked. Look at that. <laughs> Daisy.